Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm the dog's ready. Now sometimes he's even a little impatient with me to get here. It's 11.01. Hi Edie. My dog is here to greet you. Hello. Um, hi. Oh my gosh. Hi Vanessa. Uh, so today, um, oh the dog is done early. Um, today we are going to do um, the bar-ish boot camp. So um, what do we have? Oh, it's Friday and um, I hope you guys had a good week. I don't know if your if your weeks have any sort of weekend on them anymore. Mine certainly don't. So hi Steve. I know the pooch was made a quick appearance today. So today we're going to do bars boot camp. As I said, if you're new to this class, no, you just need enough room to move around. We're not going to travel around very much. If you have a mat, that's an added bonus because then it sort of gives you sort of a place to be. Um, I work barefoot. Um, you don't have to, you can work barefoot or you can work with shoes on. I wouldn't recommend socks. Um, my feet, you know, when the salons opened up, I made an appointment and then of course the salons closed back up. So don't look closely at this. Hey, oh my gosh, hey Terry and Stephanie, you're back. Here we are again in their living rooms for who knows how long. So um, today we're going to use a bar. You, if you don't have a bar, just use um, dumbbells, medium to heavy. Um, if you want to order your own body bar, this is called The Body Bar. I don't, again, I always say, I, I know I don't have a piece of the company, but I do like the product. Sprite also makes one, it's S-P-R-I. It's just sort of a padded, um, weighted bar. Um, I use this for resistance, and then also you can use it for balance. So if balance is your bigger issue, and you don't have one of these, you could just pick up a broomstick and either Take the broom part off or use it with the broom part on. Um, but there, yes, you do have me. You have me in my living room just here with my producer who's sort of a slave driver this morning, I have to say. And I'm getting a, a finger wagged at me and I think y'all know which finger that is. So, um, all right, so also if you have not subscribed yet to my YouTube fitness channel, I put the link on my bio on um, Instagram and I also posted on Facebook last night. The reason I want to do this is I would like us to at some point jump to YouTube Live. I feel like it's a better platform for people to find us and, and join in. So um, subscribe to it. You can turn off the notifications so you don't have to hear from me every two seconds. Um, but once we get enough subscribers, then I can, um, then I can start going live from YouTube studio, the whole thing. So tell your friends. And um, so what we're gonna do, if you're new to this format, we do a warm up that has a lot of upper body stabilization built into it. Then we move on to a section with um, stability um, and um, strength and balance with the bar. Then we move into some cardio intervals that also involve flexibility and strength, but they get your heart rate up. And we finish with core, in which case today, during core, as I've been doing lately, which I love, is a towel. It's a little bit bigger than a hand towel and um, not quite as big as a bath towel, but if what you're working with is a bath towel, then that's what you'll use. You'll just use the space you need. These are, um, we'll say they're gym size towels. I don't know where they might have come from. Anyway, um, so there you have it. If you have an injury, know that I teach everything in levels. You can always do the first level or the second level. You don't have to go full bore. Um, and if you have an injury you've seen a doctor for or should see a doctor for, then please make sure you're cleared to do this so you do not get hurt. That would be a drag. You're already trapped in your house. You don't need to be hurt while you do it. So um, anyway, also you might have some water or beverage close by. This is my beverage. It's water. It's in a wine glass because I'm fancy. All right, let's do this. So you're gonna have a stand. Make sure that you have space to your sides because we are gonna move around there. Sorry, I got a little close to the camera there. Like that close up. See all of my pores. All right, bring your arms up. Feet underneath your hips. Hips underneath your shoulders. Oh my gosh, everybody's in the house. See, Terry, Guy, Edie, Vanessa. All right, nothing's locked. Knees are not locked. Feet under your hips, hips under your shoulders. Just try to press down through the front of your feet. Lift your heels up. 
almost forgot what the front of your feet were called, the ball of your foot. So your fingertips are reaching towards the ceiling here. Just finding your balance, you're like a game of Jenga, everything lines up. Then find your squat. I love that you guys are back. All right, so you're holding here. You'll lower your heels, wiggle your toes. So you've made a change in your weight. Bring your arms down to where the wall meets the ceiling behind you is where your fingertips are gonna reach. Bring your arms back up to a V. Your knees don't lock. Find your squat, single count. So it's up and squeeze. Up, I don't know why I said squeeze. We're not squeezing anything down there. So lift and squat. So lift and squat. Two more. Last one. Where are both arms up? Where am I today? Hands on your knees. Round your back for two. Release. Again. Round up for two. Release. Yes, we're back. But the bonus to working out here, but I say here, I mean you're here, not my here. You don't have to wear a mask. This time, come all the way up. Shoulders down and back. Both arms come up. Forward fold. This time you can either grab your elbows or let your hands fall to the floor. Whichever makes more sense to you and your hamstrings. Straighten your left leg, bend your right knee. Sitting into your left hip. Change sides, straighten your right leg, bend your left knee, sitting into your right hip. Bend both knees, so whether you're grabbing your elbows or whether your hands are on the floor, your left elbow is gonna reach up and release. Now the next time you have an option to extend your arm, single count in either one of those levels. So if you're hanging here, you can even rest your arm on your knees. Right side, slow motion, elbow only. Maybe your whole arm reaches up. Singles here. If you're not touching the floor, you can rest right here. Then your tailbone lifts up. Slowly unroll, one bone at a time. At the top, roll your shoulders down and back. Your right arm reaches up and over to where the wall meets the ceiling on the side. Change side. Same stretch, slightly faster. Take it over for two and over twice more. And then both arms come up, inhale, reach up. Forward fold, tailbone lift. Unroll, three. Two this time on your fold. You'll bend your knees far enough to get your hands to the floor. Then step back to a downward facing dog. If you're new to this, it just looks like an upside down V. Your tailbone lifts up to where the wall meets the ceiling behind you. Your heels press into the floor. Your palms also press into the floor. Then lower your hips to plank. Hands under your shoulders. Anytime we come to plank, feel very free to put your knees on the floor. It's not a contest. Either way, bow or just your tailbone lifts up for two. I was going to say both tailbones. I hope you only have one tailbone. Both heels lift up together and lower. Lift and lower. Four more just like that. So lift and lower. Two more. Then hold. Lower your hips to plank. Either plank will do. Lift your tailbone back up. Two counts to get to plank. So one, two. Lift up for two and lower for two. Lift up twice more. Breathing in and out last time. Then you'll hold your down dog here. Then shift your weight over to your right hand and foot. Bring your left leg up only until you feel the stretch behind your right leg. You can stay right here or bend your left knee and open your left hip. If you took the bend in rotation, you'll straighten back out to a down dog split. Now you can stay right here or lower your hips, bringing your knee to your right elbow. Over your left elbow, and we come right back to where we started. You can stay here or come with me. So lower, right elbow, left elbow, back up. We'll go one more time. Lower your hips. Knee to the right elbow, 
left and back up to a down dog split. Both feet to the floor, down dog in the middle, then you'll shift your weight to your left hand and split. Right leg comes up, only until you feel the stretch behind your left leg. You can stay right here or bend your right knee and open your right hip. If you took the bend and rotation, straighten back out to a down dog split where you can stay or you can lower your hips, bring your knee over to your left elbow, to your right elbow, and back up. So that's the deal. Stay here or come with me. Lower to the left, right, back up. One more time, lower your hips or hold to your right and back up. All right, we're all back here. Let's all go to a down dog. Lower your hips to plank. Now you can stay here or lower your knees. Either way, try to bring your right foot up next to your right hand. Your toes should be able to wiggle no matter what condition they're in. Maybe your knees down. Maybe you touch your knee. Maybe you reach your fingertips to the ceiling. Always able to wiggle the toes. Both hands to the floor. Engage your core. Step to plank. Try it on the left. Step forward. Knee down or up. Maybe you touch your knee. Can you wiggle your toes? Maybe you extend your right arm up to the ceiling. Engage your core. Both hands to the floor. Step to plank. That's your pattern. Make it flow from here. Step forward here. Reach up or touch your knee. Plank. Step. Reach or touch your knee. Again. Step. Have I mentioned breathing? That's always a bonus. Once more each side. Reach. Last time. And then hold any plank here. If your knees are still up, put them down now. Release your feet, hips to your heels, child pose, pressing your chest through your shoulders, then round your back up, find your modified plank, that's hands under your shoulders. Remember, if you're here, push down and be here. Maybe you bend your elbows a little bit or a lot. Either way, they straighten back up and your hips come to your heels. So that's our pattern. We'll go through it once, making it flow, then we'll take it up tempo, round up, hold here or bend, then straighten and child pose. Make it flow here, round up, hold or bend, child pose, round, hold or bend. Same thing, round, hold or bend. We'll go twice more from here and round up, hold or bend. On the next pass, you'll hold your modified plank. When you get there, tuck your toes, push down into the floor to find your down dog. Bring your knees back to the floor, release your feet, child's pose. Make it flow, round up, push down. Lower your knees, child's pose. Same thing again, round up, push down. Knees down, child's pose. One more time. Round up. For two, push down. For two. This time, modify plank and hold it here. Come down to your forearms. I like to lace my fingers, but if you like to be here, that can work for you. All right, so you can stay here or tuck your toes and lift your knees. So if you're on your knees, this is your next progression. If you're already here, your left hip can dip to the floor to plank and right to plank. Left to plank, right again, left. One more each side. Then hold your plank. Maybe you lift your left leg up and hold for four, three, two. Both feet to the floor. Stay here, lower your knees if you need, or lift your right leg up, and hold for four, three, two, lower your right leg, and lower your knees, release your feet, back up to your modified plank, 
tuck your toes, push down to find your down dog. Walk your feet up towards your hands to a forward fold. Let your head hang, lift your tailbone up, unroll. Ooh, everybody should be warm. Grab some of whatever you brought to drink. Maybe you need to towel off already. Now, grab your resistance and overhand grip. Adjust your outfit. Sometimes things move around in the warm up. Shoulders down the back. <laughs> Wait, well, Terry, you haven't done, or Stephanie, you were right, you haven't done the, one of my bar classes in a while. Shoulders down and back. Knees are loose, not locked. Slow motion. Sink for two. Come up, squeeze your glutes. Sink down for two. Push down, squeeze your glutes. So remember, the floor is your own personal leg press. Push against it. Let's go single count squats here. Sink, squeeze. So that squeeze is for your booty, not your knees. Four more to go from here. Sink, squeeze. One more. Hold at the top, lower your elbows. Yes, this is harder than the 45 minutes I did in that building. Press your bar up on a diagonal to where the wall meets the ceiling in front of you. Knees still not locked. Bring it down, one of each. So you squat once, drop the elbows, diagonal press. So that's our pattern. You can use a bar or dumbbells. If you don't have a bar, let's see, it's been how many weeks? Like we're going, this is our fifth month. I think we're gonna be here for a while. Treat yourself. Grab a bar off of Amazon. Two more, squat, press. Once more at this tempo, or make it flow. Squat to press. So squat, press, again. Maybe your left knee comes up at the top, and then right. You don't have to do this part. This is extra. Any level will work. Let's do squat, press. Just two more. Last one, just to squat. And this week, this is the first time I've actually done the format with the bar. I did the one with the weight. Then I did the one with no equipment. And here's what I'm thinking for Monday. But let's see, as we do this, I'll explain. Shift your weight to your right foot. No weight on your left. Just hold here. Still fast today, isn't it? But I'm pretty sure I locked in the tempo. All right, you can work here, or you can pick your left foot up and do a pure single leg squat here. From either position, you can dip the left side of your bar or your dumbbell. So it can look like this or like this. If your foot is up and you feel like you need more resistance, you can extend your leg behind you. So reach up, reach again. Let's do four more of any level here. Four, three, one more. Onto both feet, recovery squat. So what I was gonna say is for Monday, this week, I think I'm gonna do a cardio sculpt. You wear shoes or not, but we're gonna intersperse the weight with cardio drills. All right, so keep that in your head. We'll do Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday next week. All right, hip hinge right here. So it's a deadlift and up. But I'll post that um, it's tomorrow, Saturday, I'll post it. So here's your move. Your knees are slightly bent, but you move the hip. Then you can shift your weight over to your left foot. No weight on your right. So it's a single leg deadlift. And then right leg goes behind you, so it splits back. I'm gonna turn a little bit so you can see it. Over for two. Now if you're ready, your back leg can go with you. Let me turn back to the side so you can see it. One, two, and up. So you can work there, or you can keep your foot on the floor. One more even. Then down for two, come up in one count. So one, two, come up, or balance. One, two, balance. Yes, I know, see, Sundays, since I don't have to go anywhere, 
and rush off to teach in the building, Sundays are going to move to 10 o'clock because I feel like that's nicer to everybody, including my production crew. So one, two, and up. One more time. One, two, hold your last position. Try to extend your right leg behind you. I'm going to turn so you can see it. Straight back. You can hold or pulse for eight, seven, chest up, shoulders down and back. Three, two, feet parallel and squat. Squeeze. We gotta do all that on the other side. But first, take your feet wide, toes to the corner. Yeah, so we have a big leap punch. And if you can't do it live, it'll be on IGTV and also on my YouTube fitness channel that you and all your friends and family are going to subscribe to so that we can move over there. Back to the center, parallel, squat, squeeze. Remember not to lock your knees. We're going from the top, one squat, one press. Lower your elbows, diagonal press. Squat, lower the elbows. Two more just like that, squat, press. Once more, if you're ready, make it flow. So squat, press, squat, press. Maybe your right knee comes up at the top. Other side, press. Just two more. Last one. Just squat, sink, squeeze. All right, you know the drill. Shift your weight to your left foot. No weight on your right. You can keep it here or you can pick your right foot up. Either way, you can dip the right side of your bar or dumbbell. If you're here and you're thinking, you know what? This isn't enough for me. You can extend your leg back behind you. Either way, you're breathing all the way in and all the way out. Four to go. So four, push down to come up. Last two. Then both feet on the floor, recovery squat. Squeeze your glutes, two more. Now we'll move to a hip hinge deadlift. So deadlift over and up. Again, deadlift over. You can work here in the middle or shift over to your right foot, no weight on your left. When you're ready, left leg behind you. So it's like a little kickstand. So this is your base level. You can stay here or let your back leg come up for two and lower. Again, hinge for two and up. Again, this is our even rhythm. Down for two, up and two. Let's change it. Down for two, come up in one. One, two, toe touch or you can balance. One, two, toe touch or balance up again. One, two, whoo, I'm not breathing. One, two, two more of any level. One, two, up, last one, over for two, and hold your last position. Extend your left leg back behind you, and pulse if you feel like it. You don't have to. For eight, seven, I need some water. Four, three, two, shake it out. Parallel squats. All right, feet wide, toes to the corners. So now, instead of it being a traditional squat, you sink your hips straight down. Push against the floor to come up, sink, press. Shoulders roll down and back. This time, hold the sink position and pulse. Hips under your shoulders for four, three, two, hold right here. Heels up, extend, lower. Sink, press, up tempo from here. Sink, press, up. Sink, heels lift. Once more, just the hip sink two times. Once more, both heels lift by pushing down. Once more, one of each, sink your hips. Heels lift. Are you breathing? Sink, press. Twice more, sink, press. Last time. All right, slightly faster here. Sink, press, sink. Two more, 
And then we go up tempo from here. Sink, press, press. Four more, one, two, three. Hold it up, hold, balance. Round your elbows. Try to bring your resistance, your dumbbell to your bar, to shoulder height. Try to rotate to your right and center. Over to your left, one, two, center. Sink your hips, heels down, come up, shake it out. Parallel squats. Okay. One more thing with the bar. Just a little thing. As you squat, if you're using a bar, flip your grip one hand at a time. If you're using dumbbells, keep your overhand grip. If you're using a bar, roll the bar to your elbows and lace your fingers. If you're using dumbbells, they run an overhand grip, you just take them across your chest. It'll all work. One more, slow motion, left leg steps back, find your lunge, you rotate on your toes, you find your hip sink position, back heel comes up, come back to your lunge, and lift up. Yep, that's how it goes, just squat. So while normally when I do that series, I would come back up to this parallel squat, the last piece is a leg lift. Slow motion, left leg steps, find your lunge for two, open up for two, Find your lunge, lift up and balance, again. So lunge for two, open for two, find your lunge. Let's try in single counts here. So lunge, open, lunge, lift, lunge. Yep, I know you're thinking, why? Because it's good for your booty and back. Sink, open, just two more times. So lunge, open, on the last one, you're gonna hold that up position here. Flex your left foot and pulse. You can see your right leg has a slight bend in it. Hold your pulse, heel to the hip. Not all the way to the hip, just towards your hip. Push your left hip towards me. So all you're looking to do is engage your hamstring. It's short sweater. You only put a mask on your face. You don't put a mask on this part. So this part's gotta look good. Heel to the hip. Let's go single count curls here, so curl. Extend, curl is small, your knee goes back behind you. Let's do four more just like that. So four, extend. Three, breathe in. Once more, hold it bent. Knee to the side, pulse. So hips and shoulders towards me for four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, you're welcome. Parallel squat. You know we have to do it on the other side. So try not to get it all the moves in your head. Just let it happen. Feet wide, a little sorbet for your booty before we start. Two more like this, then back to parallel. Breathing all the way in, all the way out. Let's have a rehearsal. Right leg steps back, find your lunge for two. Open up for two. Heel comes up, lunge for two. Lift up, let's do it again. So you lunge for two. Open up for two. Find your lunge for two. And single count. So lunge, open, lunge, lift. Lunge, open, lunge, lift. Down, open. We're doing two more after this one. Two more, so lunge, open. Lunge, last one, lunge. Open, hold your last position up, flex, and pulse. I'm gonna turn so you can see it. Four, three, slow motion curl. So heel towards the hip and out. So the hip, I'm sorry, the heel, just, if it gets all the way to your hip, that tells me that your knee should be further back behind you. You're looking for an engagement in your hamstring. Two more slowly, so heel to the hip. Press your hip and shoulder towards me. Heel to the hip. Now single count curls. So about halfway, knee back behind you, talking to where your booty meets your hamstring. There's no mask for that part. I guess you could call a sarong at the beach a mask. Two more only, then hold it bent. Take your knee out to the side, open up and pulse. Pulse, four to go, you have four, Three, two, one, shake it out. 
parallel squat. If your dumbbells are here, bring them right back down. If you're using a bar, unlace, unroll, then flip your grip, one hand at a time. Shoulders down and back. All right, as you squat, whichever resistance you're using, you're gonna put it on the floor, palms together. Whew. I'm gonna grab my towel. You guys stay in your squat. Sink, press, aha, I didn't even miss that one. Producer is asking me what's going on. Is there something not happening? I don't know. What? I wish, you know what, someday I'm just gonna turn the camera on him or make him participate with us. We're getting very informal here in the living room. All right, palms together. Squeeze your glutes at the top without locking your knees. So remember, you're pushing down to come up. Touch your knees. Knuckles up, sink, knuckles up. You should feel odd not to have resistance in your hands. Again, so sink, press. If you're watching your screen, you see the producer finally joined the production. Sink, press. Maybe lift your heels at the top, sink, press. You see, during this show on Wednesdays and Fridays, our kid is that the stables riding horses. So there's a lot of, let's just say, not G-rated language that happens between us. In four, press. Three, two more. On the last one, hold it up, hold. Find your balance, we did this at the very beginning. Extend through your fingertips. Find your squat right here. Breathing in and out. Palms together, heels down. Come up, squats here. All right, feet wide, but the same squat. Toes towards me. Squeezing your glutes at the top. This is our base level. You can always hang out here. If this is enough for you, or you're thinking, I don't even wanna do it anymore. That's cool. Stay right here. Otherwise, here's our first level. Hands to the floor, step to plank. Step right back to your wide position. Roll up, squat. Keep squatting. That's the first level. So you're not gonna hold in the plank, even though it's tempting. But the minute that second foot touches back, bring it right back to wide. That'll get you back up here. You'll need it for the next level. Hands down, step to plank. Step right back to wide, right here. Roll up, squat. Let's do it again. Hands down, step back to plank, step back to wide. Roll up, squat. Again, hands down, step to plank, step to wide. You can stay working in that level, or on the next level, your tailbone lifts up from here, push, jump to wide, roll up, squat. Let me do that again. Hands down, step, tailbone lift, step or jump. That jump happens by pushing down against the floor. Step back, tailbone lift, step or jump. Let's do that one one more time. Hands down. Step back. Tailbone lift. Step or jump. Next option is jumping to plank. Step or jump. Step or jump. Extra squat if you came with me. Hands down. Step or jump. Step or jump. Roll up. Squat when you get here. Hands down. Step or jump. Step or jump. Squat when you get here. What's that? Again, okay, hands down. Step or jump. We have one more to go. Hands down, step or jump. Step or jump. Two squats. Feet underneath your hips for four, squeeze your glutes. Three, arms up. Hold your squat, hold right here. Make a fist, extend, make a fist. Two more. Hold your hands in the extension, push down to come up, palms together, squats here. You wanna make sure you're forward in your space. We're gonna work behind us. So if you don't have any room back there, take a step forward. Left leg steps back four times. So four together, three together, two, 
Right side for four. Step together. This is our pattern. You can work here, left leg, or you can bend the back leg and push off of it. One more. Right side for four. So it's a step or a lateral lunge. Maybe your arms go with you. Left side for four. So it's step, press, step. Any level works. Right side for four. Four, push down. Three, push down. Two, left side for two. One, again. Right side for two. Cats, it's okay. You can play back later. I'm sorry, it keeps glitching. Right side. One more. Now single side to side. Step, press, step, press. My Wi-Fi signal looks good. I hope everybody's is okay. Now you can work here or you can sink your hips. Let your fingertips touch down. That's gonna force you to push harder to come up. Further down, further up. Let's do four more like that. So four, three, two, center, just the squat. For four, push down. Three, two more. Hold your squat, hold it. Fingertips, reach where the wall meets the floor behind you. Breathing in and out. Try to lift your heels up and hold. Make a fist here, make a fist. Extend, two more. Hold your hands in a fist. Bring them up by your ears. Lower your heels, wiggle your toes. Come up, palms together, feet wide, sink your hips. So sink, press. Take your arms up and out. Four more like this, so four, press. Three, press. One more, hold it out. Little pulses, left heel comes up, rotate to your right and center. Other way, right heel, rotate, center. Other way, left heel, rotate, center, right heel, sink, rotate. Let's do it again. So sink, press, out, again, sink, press. Once more each way, sink, press. You press down on your rotation, just the center. Three pulses down to three, two, one. Together and out. This is our new pattern. Together and out. Three, two, one. You can work here, or you can make the together and out be a jump. So three, two, push down to come up. Three, two, one, out. Three, two, one. One, push down or step in. Three, two, twice more to go. So three, two, one, more. Three, two, just the hip sink. Sink, press, sink, press. Palms together at the chest. Feet parallel. So you're on the front portion of your space. Remember to squeeze your glutes, our quads are so overworked at this point. You wanna squeeze, work from behind. So pushing down through the middle of your feet. <clears throat> Left leg steps back once. Other way. Easy enough. This can be your level. If you're sort of like, I can't do any more, this can be your level. Probably less intense than the parallel squat. Cross your forearms. So this can be your pattern, or when you're ready, you can sink your hips. Press, sink, press, sink, press. Maybe you pull back like a bow and arrow. Cross, so pull, cross, pull, cross, sink. Sink when you pull, maybe you touch your hands on your knees. Pull, here, pull, Hands to your knees, pull. You can work here, or you can go back a level to this. So it's sort of down, up, down, up. 
if you're here and you're thinking, I'd like more, you can sink your hips, touch the floor, sink, touch, sink, touch, sink, touch, or maybe you're here, up to you. Maybe you don't even do the up and down, maybe you just step. All good, any movement will work. Pull, hit, pull, four to go, so four. Lower your hips, guy. Work with the dog. Hold your chair pose. Breathe. Extend through your fingertips. Try to lift your heels. Hold. Breathing all the way in and all the way out. Palms together. Thumbs at your chest. Lower your heels. Wiggle your toes. Come up. Squats here. Let your heart rate settle. That was an old favorite by request that I got yesterday. All right, pedal or hop. So you can pedal or you can hop. Pedal or hop. Step out, pedal, step or hop, jump. Either one works. You can hop and step or pedal, hop. You combine it any way you like. Cross, out, maybe you sink. Up, sink. We're going four more like this. Oh no, there's a squeaky toy in the house. One more, just a squat right here. Sink, squeeze. Toes to the corners, sink your hips straight down. So it's different than your regular squat. Two more. Hold your sink. Hold it. Take your arms out to a V. Heels up. Palms together. Thumbs at your chest. Rotate to your right. For two, center. Over to your left. One, two, center. Lower your heels. Come up. Sink. Press down to come up. You guys, same as hip sink. You have to see this. This is not an actual jar of Nutella, but it's called Muttella, like a mutt. He now is very angry that I've taken it. All right, arms crossed and push it back. I throw it to him, he put it back. Take the arms out to a V right here. Sink, cross, out to a V. So this is our first level or up tempo. Up, out, cross, V. If this is 290 for you, go back a level to just a half time. Maybe you're lifting your heels as your arms come up in the middle to a cross. We're not doing the side to side. We're only doing this middle jump. So pace yourself. If you're lifting your heels, maybe you jump up, push down. So a jump happens by pushing down to the floor. Push down. What? You want to do four more? Okay. Four to go. Four. Three. Two. Palms together. Sink your hips. Two more. Hold it down. Hold it. Try to lift your heels. Fingertips straight up. Just hold. Arms out to the side. Now try to keep your straight line from fingertip to fingertip. Go straight through your body. Palms towards me. Try to rotate right. Center. Over to your left. Let's try it again. Arms stay out to your side. Once more. Center. Palms together. Heels down. Shake it out. Parallel squats. Maybe. And now I bet things is a game. Just two more. Hold you down, hold hands on your legs. Round your back. Release. Round all the way up. Okay. Grab a sip of whatever you're drinking. Grab. I'm gonna grab two towels. One to sit on because I'm sweating like a pig. And the one to use for the abs. And then somehow, some way. 
I have to get that squeaky toy away from him without causing a scene. Yes, I, I did. I threw it to him, yes. And now he's just on his bed thinking this is what he does. So if you guys don't mind the squeaky, I'm sure there's somebody somewhere online that will complain about my dog's squeaky toy, but what are you going to do? I'm just here trying to keep everybody from being stuck in their houses and not being able to fit through their doors when things finally open. All right, so here's your towel. I've been doing this a lot lately, I kind of love it. All right, so you're gonna take your towel and just make sure it's big enough to grab the edges, like shoulder distance apart. All right, yes. Oh, is it loud? Oh, good, all right. Okay, stop it. <laughs> All right, so you're sitting up tall, right on top of your butt bones. You want to try to avoid being here. I know you probably don't have a mirror, but sit up tall. Like, it should feel like someone's pulling a string out of the crown of your head. Arms, shoulder distance apart. There's no, your towel is not like this. It's perfectly straight. That helps you engage your lap. Curl halfway down for two, and up. So I turn to the side. I didn't see that note. I turn to the side so that when I cue, Front leg or back leg. The front is the one closest to your screen. The back leg is clearly the other one, the one that's further away. Now, as you curl, you can bring your arms up by your ears again. So curl, arms up. So they're not going to go further than your ears. There's no need for that. If you're looking for more resistance, you can simply curl down further. So curl, reach again. Option on the curl to rotate towards me. So curl, rotate towards me and back. Now away from me, up. Again, same thing. So curl, rotate, again, curl, rotate. Let's do some more of those. Feel pretty good. Again, we'll go once more on each side in that rotation. So curl, rotate, once more. Then curl straight down and hold it here. So you're squeezing underneath your armpits, pulling the towel out to the side. Knees are bent. All right, rotate towards me. Center, away from me, and center. Rotate, center. If you want more resistance, you can extend the leg that you're going across. So it would be your front leg and your back leg. Four more like that. Three. Two, same move, but a double pulse towards me. So pulse goes straight through to the back. One, two, one, two. Let's do four more like that. You have four, three. Pull the towel out wide. Forward, fold, ooh. Round your back. Your knees can be straight or bent. What do I do? I said straight, but this is bent, bent or straight. Either way, you're releasing your low back. Actively separating your shoulder blade. I'm going to scoot back. So your shoulder blades are going apart. Chin to your chest. Inhale. On your exhale, flex both feet. Bring your eyes up first. Shoulders and your body. Your legs do not have to be straight. Grab your towel this time. As you fold, take the towel around your feet. Try to grab as close to your feet as you can. Knees bent or straight. Fold. Actively separating your shoulder blades, chin to your chest, inhale, on your exhale, hold your towel, bring your eyes up first, then your shoulders and your body. You can release your towel, tuck your hips, fingertips out to the side, you're going to curl down, I'm going to scoop so I can slowly in the frame, curl down, one bone at a time, when you get there, bring your knees into your chest, and rock your knees side to side. I'm just not in the middle. Can't find the middle today. So just a little windmill stretch. I like to extend my top leg because I like the extra stretch that goes up into the top of my glutes. I have a lot of glute ground cover. If you're new to my class, don't worry. You're not gonna, your butt is gonna be nice and firm and lifted. It's not gonna get too big for your body like mine, I promise. All right, come back to the center. Hands to the side of the hips. Press your shoulders down to the floor. 
Just almost feel like you're stretching your collarbone out. Untuck your hips. Belly button level to your pelvic bone. 90 degrees of the hip and the knee. Calves parallel to the floor. So this might be enough for you. If it is, you stay right there. Front leg, the toes are gonna dip towards the floor. Come back to chair. Back leg. So you're not necessarily trying to touch the floor. You're trying to go away from your body to create resistance in your core. We're not gonna go faster, but you do have the option of taking both legs out away from your core and back to 90 and 90. So exhale away, inhale on the way up. So it's not about touching the floor at all. It's about just creating enough resistance in your core to get a little work done. Belly button presses down towards your spine. Exhale, one, two, inhale. Again, exhale, one, two, inhale. Once more, exhale. For two, hold your chair pose here. Fingertips up to the ceiling. Inhale, take your arms up over your head. Exhale, circle around on the floor. Squeeze under your armpits, roll your shoulders off the floor. So you're reaching your fingertips past your hips. You can hold here or you can pulse, like you're pulling ropes straight down from the ceiling. If you've taken any Pilates, this is straight out of a Pilates class. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. And inhale, two, three, four. You can continue here or you can extend your legs on a diagonal. If you're feeling this in your neck, you can either squeeze more underneath your armpits or you can take one hand behind. Exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, exhale. Two more sets, I know, inhale, two, three, four, exhale. Squeeze underneath your armpits, one, two, three, four, exhale, and hold. If your legs are extended, go back to 90 and 90, and then release, bring the knees into your chest. Rock your knees side to side. And then come back to the center. All right, let's set it up again. Untuck the hips. 90 degrees with the hip and the knee. Fingertips reach up. It's gonna be a different set. Inhale, take the arms up over your head. Exhale, circle around. Squeeze under your armpits, roll your shoulders up. Extend your back leg up. Maybe you plant the front foot, or maybe you extend down on a diagonal. Flex both feet. You're gonna take your front arm, across your back leg, little pulses off the floor. So it's a little rotation pulse, up, up. So you're squeezing underneath your armpits, engaging your lats to make it happen. Just four more, it's tiny. Four, three, two, hold. Come back to the center, knees to the chest. Let's set up the other side. Untuck your hips, 90 degrees at the hip and the knee, belly button level to the pelvic bone. Fingertips up to the ceiling. Inhale, take your arms up over your head. Exhale, circle around. Squeeze underneath your armpits. Roll your shoulders up. Extend your front leg up. Either plant your back foot or extend it anywhere on your diagonal you pick. Flex your feet. Back arm towards me across the front hip. Pulse. Breathing in and out. Thinking of at least three things that are worse than this. Pulse up. Let's do eight more from here. We have eight, seven, six, last four. Breathe, three, two, and come back to the center. Knees into the chest. Both feet on the floor, hands to the side of the hips. Your heels are as close to your booty as you can get them. Tuck your hips, push your feet down to lift your hips up off the floor. Looking for a bridge pose, it's a diagonal line from your shoulders to your hips to your knees, your toes can wiggle. You're also breathing. Maybe you're gonna put your arms underneath you and lace your fingers so that your elbows are straight, still pushing down through your feet. Have I mentioned you're breathing in and out? All right, if you lace your fingers, unlace them, lower your spine, one bone at a time. Bring your front knee into the chest. Extend your leg up only as far as you need to, to feel the stretch behind it. Now your back leg can work its way down to the floor to find your flexibility. Not a contest, go only as far as you need to. Bend the front knee of the chest for two, drive it up. Again, flex, bend, drive it up. Once more, flex, bend, hold your leg up only as far as you need to to feel the stretch. 
front arm goes anywhere on the inside of the front leg. Open the leg towards me just an inch or two or as far as you need to feel the stretch on the inside. Your back hip is not gonna lift. Flex both feet, pushing your heels out to the walls. Still breathing in and out. And then bend your front knee to the center. Front arm reaches out towards your screen. Back arm across your knee and your knee rotates away from your screen. Breathing in and out, hopefully getting some chiropractic activity on the stretch. And bring it back to the center. Change sides, front foot down, back knee into the chest. Extend your leg up only as far as you need to to feel the stretch. Front leg can stay bent or anywhere in between. Flex your back foot. Bend the knee to the chest. Send the heel up. Again, flex. Bend, drive it up. Once more, flex. Bend this time to hold your leg up. Back arm goes anywhere on the inside of your back leg. And it opens to the side only far enough to feel the stretch on the inside. Your front hip is not gonna move. It's gonna stay glued to the floor. Flex both feet. Then bend your back knee to the center. Back arm goes out to the side. Front arm across your back knee and rotate over towards me. So the after party today is gonna be upper body and maybe moving into some upper body on the floor that will involve our core. Yep, you're welcome. Come back to the center. Both feet on the floor. Flip over onto your stomach. So your arms and legs are extended. I love the dog's butts in the frame. All right, front arm reaches back around. Grab where your shoelaces either are or would be. Pull your heel to your hip. Hip towards the floor. You're just looking for a stretch on your quadriceps. Try to keep your knees straight out from your hip. And then release, change sides. Back arm goes around. Grab either where your shoelaces are or would be. Heel to the hip, hip to the floor. If you can, keep that there. I do this in every class. You'll bring your front arm around to join it. If you're not quite here, you can grab your heels or your pants, whatever you're working with. Once you're here, you can push your feet into your hands and lift your knees up off the floor to really open the quadriceps. Maybe you lift your chest and open the shoulders for four, three, two, and release. Hands to the side of your chest. Press your chest up. Take your hips back to your heels. To child pose. Pressing your chest through your shoulders. Then rotate your thumbs up towards the ceiling. Hands are on their sides. Release your palms back to the floor. Round up to a tabletop. Hands under your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Then round your back. Actively separating your shoulder blades. Push down, lift your tailbone up. Walk your feet up towards your hands. Lift your tailbone up. Slowly unroll your back. In four, three, at the top. You guys are all done with this class. So remember, I'm gonna sign off, post it, share it. In five minutes, we'll come back to the after party. Your upper body, maybe a little core upper body. Um, and so thank you so much for anybody who's been able to make a donation. I really appreciate it. I'll post my schedule, but for next week, it's going to be Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I'll post the formats. That'll be up tomorrow. So I'll either um, see you in five minutes when we sign back on for the after party, or I'll see you Sunday morning at 10. Thanks, you guys.